Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Civil War taking place inside of the former state of Ethiopia. And uh, today, we can confirm that the Tigrayan Defense Forces have opened another front against the Abi Loyalist Forces. Uh, this time, they are now focused on on a multi-prong assault into western Tigray. Uh, we can confirm now that there has been fighting taking place uh, very close to the Sudanese uh, western Tigray border along with uh, reported uh, uh, large-scale movements of Tigrayan defense forces into western Tigray. So now the question is was the southern operation uh, towards uh, Weldia and uh, taking control of Kobo a feint in order to draw forces quite possibly from western Tigray back down towards the southeast and uh, have used that as a ruse to then launch another operation uh, into western Tigray. Uh, I would have to say at this point no, that is not the case. Uh, there appears to be a lot of uh, Tigray defense forces that have been con committed uh, to that uh, southeastern offensive, which was able to break through the Abi Loyalist lines near Kobo, especially cleaning out Abi Loyalist forces uh, near sites such as Boren and the Zobel mountain range uh, to the east of Kobo and then obviously to the west of Kobo as well. And we continue to hear reports of large movements uh, to grind defense forces towards Weldia and other areas in uh, the north uh, eastern Amhara region and uh, again all indications are is that right now uh, the uh, TDF is looking to encircle and then take control of Weldia and quite possibly move south. Uh, not a, a tremendous amount of news out of this area right now. Uh, we, we, we assume at this point uh, the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces are bringing forward its main body more towards uh, Weldia and areas south of Weldia as they continue to press this attack uh, deep into the Amhara region. Now, in terms of what is happening uh, in western Tigray, it would appear that in the southeastern quadrant of western Tigray, this is where we have seen the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces uh, cross the Tekezi River that is here, this river here. I'll kind of move up the screen kind of where you can fully see it. That is kind of the demarcation line between western Tigray and uh, the, uh, the eastern part or central part of the uh, Tigray region. And again, uh, the Tigrayan Defense Forces are looking to reclaim this area that was seized uh, uh, in, in November of 2020 during that multi-faceted uh, uh, Eatrian and uh, a B loyalist uh, operation that that quote unquote law enforcement operation, which in in reality was an all-out uh, military attack against the Tigray region. And uh, right now, the, uh, the the TDF are looking to reclaim this area as it would give them the ability uh, to have a shared border with another nation state that is not as hostile as Eritrea or the B uh, loyalist fragmented government of the former state of, uh, of Ethiopia. But uh, we're going to continue to monitor this very, very closely. Uh, there's reports of uh, fighting uh, taking place again, uh, both uh, to the west of the Tekezi River and as well uh, near towns such as Hamora, uh, and areas further south of Hamora as well. And uh, we, uh, we believe uh, that uh, those are, uh, again, those uh, Tigrayan defense forces that were able to infiltrate into Sudan previously. Uh, we do know there are training camps that have been set up inside the Sudan as well. And in all probability, uh, those forces 
are now being utilized uh, in this new operation into uh, Western Tigray. But we'll have to see uh, how this uh, eventually uh, pans out, and we will uh, we will we will further uh, see what happens here in uh, due course. And again, I apologize. I was probably pronouncing some some people call it Humera, some people call it Amora. Uh, please, please feel free to correct me uh, in in the uh, pr proper uh, uh, how it is uh, properly uh, pronounced. But uh, that uh, that pretty much does it for today. We're watching things again very, very closely, and uh, heavy fighting is still continuing. And as soon as we get more information about what is happening on the ground, uh, we will absolutely report that information. So again, thanks for joining us, and always have a good day.